valves out of the head in order. Better make sure you don't screw them up. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. Well, I get the valves out. Welcome to Life with Bilsa, by the way. I'm gonna remove the valve seals with you, and we're gonna try to get this head cleaned up and maybe install the springs on this head. That's my plan. So what we can do is pull all these valves off, valve seals off, and then we'll go from there. So if you wanna move over here, I'm gonna grab a little tool and pop all them off. My neighbor has the loudest lawnmower I've ever heard. I think he needs a muffler or something where it's just loud. They're all club cadets loud, leave your comments down below. Frick, why wouldn't you? Can you hear it? Let's do it. So if you just grab these, you can lift them right off just like that. So we'll lift all these off. I'm not trying to save them, so it really doesn't matter. Look at the oil underneath them. That seems to tell me that it might have been leaking a little. Oh, there we go. Now we can hear it, Jim. Get off there. So there you go. That's all there is to taking them off. And we can throw all these in the freaking garbage because they're just going to leak shit everywhere. We'll wipe around here. And we'll take a look at all the top of the guides, get the carbon off them, make them look mint. Are you watching? Probably not. Get all that stuff off there like this and like that. Oh, they're wiping right off, Jim. That's a good thing. There we go. Now, I still don't have any brake clean, but I should be able to blow this out pretty good and not really worry about brake clean too much. So I'm going to go over here now and we're going to give this a blow job. So you have an eye over there and I'll have an eye over here. A little air pressure, a little air line, and we'll uh, need a little air blower. Where's the air blower, Cap? Lose everything I touch. Oh, there it is. Right there. Pretty great it is. We'll make some noise and we'll get this cleaned up a little bit. All right, so now that we're done that, we can install the new valve seals. Now there is an intake valve seal and there is an uh, exhaust valve seal. So just make sure you get them right. I don't know what the difference is. is. So we'll need an intake seal. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of squirt squirt on this just to make me feel better. Just give her a little squirt just to soften her up. We'll slide her on. So there's one, perfect. So now we need exhaust. Give her a little squirt, exhaust, perfect intake so it looks like one's black and one's like a brownish color so the intake's a black one and the exhaust is a brown one so there you go in case you wanted to know now it looks like they go on pretty good there's not a whole lot of pressure you have to do here intake ah, careful exhaust so there we go that's it that's all there is to change the valve seals in the ls head so now what we're going to do is we're going to set this back up like this and we're going to slide the valves back in now we've done enough lapping on these valves, they should be mint. So I'm all done that section. So we'll slide this in like so. We'll slide this one in like so. We'll slide this one in like so. Easy. Easy. There you go. So now the valves are back in. We'll give them a little bit of lube on top. Just a little squirt. Squirt, 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 squirt. Just to make me feel better, give them a little twist. Excellent. Now I went with a pack. Pack 1218 valve springs, which are good for 300 lift, 320 lift, something like that. Quite a bit bigger, or taller than the uh, originals, but they hold more force, but they won't be bigger once I collapse them in, but. There you go, hey, look at the size of them. They're mint. So I might as well get the tool out and see if we can't get one on. Holy Christ, they're gonna be fucking, mighty fucking collapse when I get them on there, they are. Holy Captain. So slide the old Machida Ruski on. And we'll give her the one, two. Fuck your shoe. Ready? Make sure I'm on the valve. Oh, yeah, there we go. Seven. Oh, careful. We slipped off one side. So let's get her a little tighter. Oh, you know why? Because I forgot to put the keeper on first. I'm losing it, Jim. Let's get the retainer out and we'll slap that on there. There we go. Now let's try it. We might have a little better luck now, Jim. Hey. Keepers, please. There you go. Get some keepers. Slap them on. A little wiggle one way and a little wiggle the other way. Oh, I lost one, Jim. 
There we go. We'll give her a little bit of oil and we'll release. There you go. So there's one on. So now we'll just carry on down the line. Spring, retainer, squeeze. Clip, clip, oil, release. Spring, retainer, valve, squeeze. Retainer, retainer, oh, careful. Oh, that retainer fell down too far, it did. Retainer, ooh, eh? Mm -hmm. Something's not right here. Let's get this one back out. Tool's a little off wacky. If you're not 100% sure, release and reset. All right, let's try that. There we go. A little bit of oil, a little bit of release. Perfect. There it is. That one gave us a little bit more workout than normal. I'm fine, I need the goddamn workout. Spray, retainer, clampage, bombage, downage. Clip it. I'm only halfway there, Cap. Don't run out of steam yet. I don't know if I like this. It's not designed for old people. It's designed for strong young guys. That's all right. Use it. Release. Spring. Retainer. Longer handle. Sweet. Uh-oh. Let's bring this in a little bit more. I think she's wearing in. Oh, it's Princess Auto. It's bending. She's mint. Only the best, Princess Auto. What's really going on? Why wouldn't it be a piece of shit? <sighs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh my god. It's gonna take every little bit of energy left I have today to get these in. Oil, release. Oh, watch out, retainer's slapping around here. Spring, retainer. Make sure you lined up to that valve because if you go to squeeze it and you're not over the stud, it's not gonna go anywhere. Just so you know. One, two, oil, release. Bob. Careful, retainer. Oh. Things bending some more. I don't think it's gonna make it. Princess Auto tool might not make her, Jim. You got one more spring to go, Mr. Princess Auto. You can do her, Captain. Oh my God. What a scary fucking tool that is. Where is it bending? Yeah, it's not down far enough. I can't get it in. Oh, that's why that's moving. Holy. I don't suggest this one, just so everybody knows. Get a half decent one, this one's dicked. Doing the job for the price, but I'm just saying. It's not the best one, that's for damn sure. Are you gonna make it through one more? Spring, retainer, squeeze maybe. We're down to maybes now, Jim. Retainer, retainer, release. All right, there we go. So we got the pack springs on. So now we're fully springed up on that. So that's done. Get out of the way. Oh, here we go. Okay, that head goes on the other side. Wrong side. <laughs> there we go. We've got one head done with the springs. All we're waiting for is a rocker kit, and then we can get the Play-Doh test done on that one. And what else are we waiting for? Yeah, just a rocker kit. So we got the springs in, the heavy duties, the ones that belong with that cam are in there, and they look friggin' decent. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what you think. Why wouldn't you? This video, just so you know, was not sponsored by PAC. I had to buy these with my own money I did, but they're from America. Born and raised. Thanks for watching the valve spring installation with the dirty old Vilsa. I appreciate it. So here we are, one step closer again. That makes me feel better that heads back together. Friggin' right it does. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification so you're notified when our new videos are coming up. But love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.